Hi friends and welcome to Book a Day for Little Learners. Friends, today we're going to continue our books that relate to penguins or have penguins as a main character. Today's book is called How Deep is the Sea? And it features this penguin. It's by Anna Milborn and Serena Rigletti. Friends, before we start our story, if you could hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, I sure would appreciate it. Friends, today we're reading How Deep is the Sea? How Deep is the Sea? Friends, look at that huge whale and that tiny penguin. One is very large and one is small in comparison. Pipkin was a very small penguin who was always asking very big questions. How big was a dinosaur? Does chocolate grow on trees? On trees, but what makes the chocolate cocoa, cocoa that grows on trees? What makes snow fall from the sky? But the thing he wanted to know most of all was how deep is the sea? Friends, probably a good question for a penguin who spends spends a lot of his time in the water. Penguins are really good sw swimmers, said his mama. Why don't you go and have a look? Pipkin took a very deep breath and dived into the sea. Do you see the fish? He sees the fish around him. Penguins eat fish. He swam down a little way into the sparkling blue and found a seal catching silver fish. Excuse me, said Pipkin, how deep is the sea? Deep enough to hold more fish than I could ever eat, said the seal. Would you like to stay for lunch? Sorry, I can't stop now, said Pipkin. I'm off to find the bottom of the sea. He swam down a little further into the deepening blue and found the biggest creature he'd ever seen. Excuse me, said Pipkin. How deep is the sea? Deeper than a big blue whale like me has ever seen, said the creature. Would you like to say, stay and sing to my blue whale friends across the sea? Oh, sorry, I can't stop now, said Pipkin. I'm off to find the bottom of the sea. Friends, do you think he'll be able to find the bottom of the sea? I'm not sure. Pipkin swam down a little further into the darkening blue and found a salty sea dog in a submarine. Friends, there's the submarine. See the dog in there? There's the dog. Excuse me, said Pipkin. How deep is the sea? Deep enough to need a, need a submarine to reach the very bottom, said the salty sea dog. I'm going there now. Would you like to join me? <gasps> yes, please, said Pipkin. Oh, that was nice of the dog to offer. The submarine took them down and down and down to where the sea turned night black and there was no one else around. It's so dark. Then one by one, twinkling lights began to appear. All kinds of wonderful lit up creatures were swimming around in the dark. Excuse me, said Pipkin, how deep is the sea? Deep enough to have whole mountains at the bottom, said one of the twinkly creatures. Look, let's see the whole mountain that's at the bottom of the sea. Oh, friends, look at that. And sure enough, just below was a range of towering mountains. Is this the very deepest part, asked Pipkin? Not quite, said the twinkly creature, and it pointed to a valley. Down there is the very deepest part of the sea. Do you think Pipkin can go down there, friends? He's been down underwater for a long time. So the yellow submarine took them down into the valley. It was very deep 
and very dark and very, very quiet. <sniffs> Went the submarine as it landed on the bottom. I wonder if anything lives all the way down here, whispered Pipkin. They peered into the darkness, but nothing came to say hello. So they sat for a while at the bottom of the sea with miles and miles of water above them. Ready to go home, asked the salty sea dog. Yes, please, said Pipkin. And he made it down, didn't he? The yellow submarine took them all the way back up to the top of the sea. Pipkin said to his mama, the sea is very, very deep. It's deep enough to hold more fish than a seal can ever eat and deep, deeper than a big blue whale has ever been and deep enough to have whole mountains at the bottom and lots of twinkly creatures hardly anyone's ever seen. And it's deep enough for very small penguins to have very big adventures, said his mama as she rubbed him dry. I'm proud of you, my little Pip. Friends, this was a story about a penguin who wanted to find out how deep the sea was. And he went down into the water and he found different animals and he asked them how deep the sea was. Friends, I hope you enjoyed our story today. If you could please give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I would love to see you back tomorrow to hear our next penguin story. See you then, friends.